Okay, thank you so much. Okay, you guys have formed your team, right? Okay, you have formed your team. So for the first task, right, what do you have to do? Uh, the other day I already uh, told you, you have to identify an organization. Then try to <coughs> select a manual system or current system, which is like really, uh, you know, it can be a legacy system or very outdated system, which is currently, they are using it, but it's causing a lot of problems. So after identifying the title, right? You have to actually propose a system. So when you propose a system, it can be web-based, it can be mobile-based, any type of application. And I really want you to come up with an idea which is totally replace an existing system such as a manual system. So that you can have modules for each of you. You can have a module for each of your member. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult to collect marks as an individual. Okay, then number two. You have to now, every one student has to think of one, uh, what do you call that, factor. One factor for identifying the stakeholder. There are six factors all together. Usually, right, if you have five members, you can also consider all the six factors. Each of you take one and then maybe one of your member can uh, do two factors. So that you can cover all the factors. It's up to you. I'm not done, uh, actually... Uh, the, the minimum requirement is one factor each member. So sometimes when you have four members, fair for everyone. Just go for four factors. If three members, minimum requirement, three factors. So what you have to do now, identify one, uh, what do you call that, uh, selection, uh, what do you call the stakeholder selection factor. After you identify the stakeholder selection factor, I want you to come up with all the stakeholders. Briefly explain uh, this stakeholder uh, what do you call the selection factor for your title? Again, I don't want any general explanation. For example, role in making decision. I don't want you to explain, okay, what do you mean by making decision, role in making decision? Only directly, for example, you are actually proposing a system for Mama Restaurant. You want to replace their manual way, you propose an ordering system, food ordering system. So you can straight away tell me, okay, how this factor, okay, this factor can be used to identify stakeholders. After explaining that, I want you to identify all the possible stakeholders for that particular factor. Okay, so you have to identify all the stakeholders based on the factor. So each of the factor, you must have uh, all the possible stakeholders which comes under the factor. So I will be asking each group, okay, in maybe 15 minutes time. Can you do that? I give you 15 minutes. Okay, each group must come up with uh, factors, okay, stakeholder selection factors, then explain each factor. After explaining the factors, I want you to identify stakeholders based on your title. Uh, again, no general description at all. For this uh, SRS document, right, you shouldn't give me any general description. It must be case specific for your project title. If I see anything general, any explanation which is general, you will be losing your mark. Secondly, you have to make sure you what do you call that? Explain everything based on your project or your, what do you call that, proposed system title. Then, try to identify all the possible stakeholders. No missing stakeholder. Try to analyze. The more you analyze, the better your marks will be. Okay? So, try to cover as many stakeholders as possible. So, I give you 15 minutes. Later, I'll be calling one by one group for today's practical. You will present to me your stakeholder analysis factors and all the stakeholders under each factor. You can go for minimum uh, one factor each member. Is that clear? Yes? No? If anything not sure, you can ask me now. Is that clear, class? Okay, you may start now. Okay, 15 minutes from now. Okay, class, please, uh, please prepare a Google Doc. Huh? You do your work in your Google Doc. All the uh, Google Doc, sorry. All the practical work you have to present in a Google Doc. And then for the uh, SRS document, you have to use the template. SRS uh, document, use the template provided. 
for your practical task answer, you have to prepare a Google Doc. Okay? So later you will merge both. I will teach you how to merge at the end. Now you have to have two separate documents. Two separate documents. At the end, you will merge both documents to become one. You will only submitting the SRS. But for now, try to do all the practical tasks in Google Doc. Create a Google Doc among your friends, your group members. Then try to do okay in uh, within this Google Doc. And then for the SRS, try to use the template provided. Then at the end of the lesson, I will, I mean, at the, uh, at the end of the semester, I will teach you how to merge, okay? So you don't have to do double job. Try to use the template straight away. And here, try to use a Google Doc and put proper numbering, everything, uh, the alignment, everything, so that easily can transfer to the other document later. Okay, class, if you have any question, please uh, type in the uh, chat. Okay, I'll answer your questions. Or you can ask me directly now. I'm uh, just waiting here. So you can just ask me directly.
Okay. Now, can I have? Ah, uh, okay. Wait, uh, let me call the groups. Do you remember the numbering in the classroom? Group number, group one to group four. Okay, of course, I don't ask you to present the stakeholders so fast. What I want you to present now to me is, okay, I want you to tell me your title. Let me check uh, the title. If the title is good enough, then you may proceed with the stakeholder analysis. Okay, and I want you to present the stakeholder analysis to me uh, next Monday. Your practical is on Monday, right? Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. So you present to me on Tuesday, one by one group. I'll come to your place and uh, you have to take turn to present. And I don't want the same person uh, to present all the time. Okay. Okay. Now, can I have the first group? Who is group one in my list? In the classroom, you have already entered the names, right? Who is in the group one? Maybe one of you can take turn. Okay. Maybe today one of you can, uh, uh, what do you call that? Behalf of the others present first. Tell me what is your title? Okay, after telling me the title, I want you to tell me what are the main modules you have identified. Because I told you, right, each student must have one module. So can you just share with me what are the main modules you have identified for each member? You don't have to tell me which module is for which member. You can just tell me what are the modules. Can we start with the first group? No worries if you haven't complete. You can just try to, uh, uh, what do you call that, do in the form of discussion now. Just tell me what are the main modules uh, you can see. First, tell me the title. Let me see the title. If the title is fine, then tell me all the modules that you have identified for the system. Chiahi, can you please share the, uh, what do you call that, the group, the groups. Uh... Chiahi left, is it? Uh, okay. Yeah, just help me to share the screen. Maybe they are not sure huh, which one is first group. Yeah, thank you. So can you click on the document given for you to form the teams? Yeah, thank you so much. There's no group one. <laughs> <laughs> Are you how like this? Huh? Can you please uh, copy the group five to group one? How come uh, there's no group one and you already uh, go to group two to five? Vanilla, you guys. So this is going to be group one. Okay. So sorry, I have to uh, try to occupy the space uh, in group one first. Okay, so group one is uh, Chun Ho's group, and then group two going to be Chong Han's group, group three going to be Yong Jin, and group four is Sheng Jie. Okay, so four groups we have. Okay, so every time I come to presentation, either I start from group one or I start from group four. Okay, take turn. So today, since I'm starting from group one, maybe next round I'll go for group four. So now what I want to hear, okay, group five can remove, just did, uh, remove all the names. Help me to remove uh, Chia Chia. Thank you. And the title also, please help me to copy fitness app. Okay. So I noticed group one title is fitness app. Can you please tell me what are the modules, main modules you have identified? Because I told you, right, if you see enough module, then you can go with the title. Because you need to have at least each, uh, what one module for each member. If you don't really have enough module, you're going to uh, suffer later because you need to do your individual tasks based on your own module. Uh, there are a lot of tasks to be completed for individual part. So if you really have no, uh, not enough, uh, what do you call that, modules, again, you're going to have problem. So can I hear from this team, group one, Chun Ho's group? No worries, you don't have to present the uh, what the stakeholder selection factor so fast. I will uh, go for that presentation next week. Today, can you please present to me your title and all the modules? Uh, Miss Nish, share the screen. Yeah, 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 you may. 